Three weeks ago, welders started a small fire in a bathroom of the massive Lake Butler mansion known as Versailles. It didn't cause much damage, but the mansion's co-owner, Jackie Siegel, learned about the fire thanks to News 6. But after that fire, many of you asked, what's going on with the mansion's construction? So Jackie and her timeshare magnet husband, David Siegel, have been working on the 90,000 square foot home since 2004. I recently met up with Jackie at the mansion in Windermere. She took me inside and told me about her new vision for Versailles. Watch your step here. This is a construction zone. Yes. On the shore of Lake Butler. We've been doing this for like 17 years or so. Standing 63 feet tall. This house, I think it's the only house in America that's not only under construction, but it's under renovation at the same time. Spanning more than 90,000 square feet is David and Jackie Siegel's Versailles. Well, I said, well, have you been to a super Walmart? It's the same size as Super Walmart. The Seagulls bought this land right around the turn of the century. Construction slowed in 2008, then again after the death of their 18-year-old daughter, Victoria, from an opioid overdose three years ago. And we're back on track. I mean, we've got so many years into it, and we know our daughter would have wanted us to, to finish it. Siegel says she's turning her pain into purpose using Versailles. She tells me she envisions welcoming guests from all over the world through these front doors at a grand opening fundraiser for their charity, Victoria's Voice. But we want to do everything we can in our power till our death. We're going to um, fight this battle. Yeah. As spring 2020 approaches, the work pace is fast. Concrete being pumped into one of six pools. Then the grand pool um, has a waterfalls that goes into a lap pool. Okay. Do you swim laps? I do not, but um, <laughs> for anyone that wants to know, <laughs> Michael like Phelps, come on over. <laughs> this will be the formal garden. Up these stairs and through these doors is the grand ballroom. And all the marble came from the Seagull's own quarry in Italy. Each piece was numbered oh. to exactly where it was going to fit. On the home's lower level, this 30-car garage, now doubling as a storage area. Oh, okay. These ornate mantles came from a palace in Italy. So what I'm hearing is I can't buy this at Home Depot. This is our full-size roller rink discotheque. We have the health spa, the bowling alley, the wine cellar. That's crazy. So just, just a few things in that house. But you heard Jackie mention that grand opening event mm -hmm. that she wants to mm -hmm. benefit her charity, Victoria's Voice. She took us inside, but she asked us not to take the cameras inside mm -hmm. because they want to build anticipation for that event. But I can tell you, it's absolutely breathtaking inside. And it really, <laughs> they have these great double staircases that I told her, if you ever invite me over, I will spend all my time taking pictures on these stairs. Yeah. Well, you know what? It takes time to, to build quality. Yes, and that's it what does. They're doing. And now she's going to be hiring a staff of about 30 because, wow. you know, it takes a lot to run that. But it really was great to catch up with her. And she has a book coming out March 1st about her daughter mm -hmm. and about the opioid epidemic. Mm -hmm. And that really is her focus now using Versailles as a tool to fight that opioid That's epidemic. Great. Yeah, so that it was amazing. nice to catch up with her. Yeah. I like if you asked if there was anything we could buy at Home Depot. Nope. And she kind of like, no. Yeah, not so much, <laughs> right?